coming up on Fresh Dew with Pastor Inkechi Ene. And you know the beauty about praying in tongues, because you're praying out of your understanding as this is going on, you're praying selflessly. Mm -hmm. I could get up and it could be Pastor Shola I'm praying for. Mm. But you know, when you think, ah, let me pray for my father, my mother, my problems, my this. Mm. No, pray in the spirit mm -hmm. and God will place a burden on your heart for even people you may not know. Right. And you take care of these things. Glory Amen. be to God. Hello, I'm Pastor Nkechi Ene, and thank you for tuning in to watch Fresh Dew today. Fresh Dew has a growing circle of partners, and in this time, I want to invite you to be part of our circle of partnership. I'd like to read this portion of scripture. 1 Corinthians 3, from verse 6 to 9 says, I planted, Paul speaking, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are all God's, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, you are God's building. I love the scripture because it shows really for me the circle of partnership. And it shows different roles. It shows Paul planting, Apollos watering. But you know, many times when we think about partnership, we only think of the one who plants and the one who waters. Well, there's a third person in that circle, which I want to bring out today, a third person, and that's God. It says God brings the increase. So think of the circle, not just as two sets of people holding hands, but there's a third set, another person there, God, and every single one has the role they play. That's basically what Paul was saying. I have my role, you have my role, and God has his role. Now, if we read that from the New Living Translation, it shows this. It says, I planted the seed in your hearts. Apollos watered it, but it was God who made it grow. It's not important who does the planting or does the watering. What's important is that God makes the seed grow. The one who plants and the one who waters work together with the same purpose. And that's the beauty of partnership. We all work together with the same purpose of getting the word of God through fresh tea out to everyone. He says, and both will be rewarded for their own hard work. For we are both God's workers and you are God's field, you are God's building. So really between the one planting let's say us on Fresh Dew, and the ones watering, our partners, no one is more important. But the most important person is God. And that's the thing, we must never forget the God factor in any circle of partnership. And on Fresh Dew, we remember the God factor in our circle of partnership. So really, the question is, can increase occur therefore without the God factor? And the answer is no. No matter how hard you work really, or how much you plant, or how much you water, we must remain conscious of the God factor. God is the one that brings the increase. Now, another question is, can God increase us without our playing our roles? Yes, he can, but he won't. Can God increase us without the circle of partnership? Yes, he can, because he's God, but he won't. Why do I say he won't? Because we're no longer child of God. In the wilderness mode, in the mode where manna just drops and quail drops in our laps from heaven. No. You know, when the, when the children of Israel crossed the Jordan, the Bible says in Joshua 5.12 that the manna ceased. 5.12, I believe. The manna ended. That was it. Why did the manna cease? The manna that was dropping from heaven free of charge ended because when they crossed the Jordan, they plugged into Genesis 8.22. Seed time and harvest will never cease. And the Bible says, as they ate of the produce of their planting and their watering, and of course the God factor came in, 
God took away the manna and there was no more free fall of provision from heaven. God can free fall provision, but he set up a cycle. And I like to put it this way, in the circle of partnership on Fresh Dew, we plug into the cycle. The circle plugs into the cycle and the cycle is seed time and harvest. Where we plant, we come to the set, we teach the word of God, we shoot and you water with your prayers, with your financial contributions, and we continue to push the gospel on fresh to you out to the ends of the earth. Now, how do I become a partner? It's very simple. Just log on to www.freshg.tv and follow the, the signs and log in and begin to, you know, be part of what God is doing in the circle of partnership. You can put your partnership in any currency. You can put in any frequency you want to, but it's just for us to hold hands together knowing that in that circle the God factor is the most important and we can't do it without the God factor. Hello and welcome to Fresh Stew. I'm Pastor Nkechi Ene and it's always my pleasure to welcome you to every single episode of Fresh Stew. Fresh Stew is a program that is designed to build you up and to give you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. For the past several months, Pastor Shola Akimwali and myself have been taking this message series, God, God is, is big, big in me. me. And it's been awesome. It's been yeah. amazing, even for us, yeah. the things that God has taught us in this message series. Yeah. So this is part 35. And of course, before we dive into it, as usual, we'd like to give a quick review, very quick review of the message. The message has been split into three main parts. The first part is God is big. The next part is God is big in me. And the third part looks, up, looks at how to express that bigness of God. So that first part, God is big, we looked at many Many wonderful things about the bigness of God. And we define the word big, which we keep redefining every single episode of this message series. The word big means of considerable size or extent, larger than other items of the same kind, of considerable importance or seriousness. It also means generous. So after we looked at the section one, we looked at section two, where we began to explore who the me yes. is. Who, is it everybody who can say, mm. God is big in me? Where we found mm. out, no, you've got to be a born-again, Bible-believing believer, okay. born-again child of God, who can, you know, who, that's the only person who can actually say God is big in me. Now, you know, even if you're a born-again believer, you may not actually experientially enjoy mm -hmm. this bigness of God. And that is section three, where we began to look at how mm -hmm. the bigness mm -hmm. of God is expressed in this believer. And we called it, we said there were th three, three ways. Mm -hmm. So we called it the, the three, three G, G ways. <laughs> the three G way. Right. You know, not three G like the network, but three G. <laughs> Certainly three, not. Not the network, <laughs> three G way. And the three Gs were grace, grace Gifts, gifts and, and glory. glory. And we looked at grace. That mm. was amazing for yeah. some episodes. And then now we're looking at gifts. And mm. we said a gift is something acquired without compensation, a thing given willingly to someone without payment, a present, the act of giving. We looked at four important things about a gift. That was really good. Yeah. And you could trace that episode and mm. or that part and, and watch those parts. Then we began to look at some of the gifts that God has given us. And we've been parked at the baptism of the Holy Spirit or the mm. gift of the Holy Spirit. Right for a while now. And we made this statement that every Christian is born of the Spirit, but not every Christian is filled with the mm. Spirit. Born of the Spirit is, being, is similar to a well. Filled with the Spirit is similar to a river. We, we began to say this, that speaking in tongues is the initial evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit. And we won't go into that now, mm -hmm. just, just you know, as a review. Then we looked at how do you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then we began to look at the importance mm, of mm. speaking in tongues. And we've been at that for like two episodes now. Right. And this is the third one. What is the importance to you as a believer? Why, why should you speak in other tongues? First thing we said, it's, well, it's the initial evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Mm. Then we said, it's a way of speaking to God. And last mm. week, we found out that speaking in tongues builds you up spiritually. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. Also, so it also opens the door. It opens the door. That, that was the last one, actually, to, <laughs> to great, great manifestations of God in of your God's life. Power, yes. Amen. Amen. All right. So we're going to uh, continue today uh, looking at another benefit or continue the importance of speaking in other tongues for you as a child of God. And it's this. Speaking in tongues helps you pray for things, people, and situations that you are unaware of. Awesome. Amen. That's great. Speaking awesome. in tongues helps you to pray for things, people, 
and situations that you are not aware of. And that's supernatural because ordinarily, naturally, you pray for things you are aware of. But by speaking in tongues, you can get into that realm where you even pray for things you do not know. Look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. Romans 8, 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Mm. So this is a very interesting verse. And the first thing we want to call our attention to is the fact that, in fact, that fa the first phrase, phrase in this verse is, likewise the Spirit also helps, notice helps, in our weaknesses. Notice weaknesses. So what does it mean uh, when it says the Holy Spirit helps in our weaknesses? Of course, this verse is talking about prayer. Because the next phrase goes on to say, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. So we already established it's prayer. It, that it's prayer. So how does he help us? Well, first of all, what's the meaning of the word helps? Mm. It's a very interesting word. It's from the Greek word, sun anti lambomai. Lambanomai. Lambanomai. Sun anti lambanomai. And that's 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 almost tongue. Sounds like music in me, music in my ears. Sun anti lambanomai. Okay, and it's made up of three words, or you could say really two, but the, even the second word is a compound word. Mm. So we just break it down. Sun anti and lambanomai. Sun anti and lambanomai. The word sun in the Greek means together. Mm -hmm. The word anti means against. It's one of the meanings of the word anti is against. It's rendered differently, but here it's against. Mm -hmm. And lambanomai, look at this, means to take hold of in turn, or we could say to take hold of. So what's the meaning of this interesting word? If we piece it down, break it down, this is what it means. Soon anti lambanomai means to take hold of opposite together. That is, to cooperate or assist or help. You are going to observe that the word assist and uh, words like assist and help will keep on coming out. Yeah. The next meaning is to take hold along with, mm. to strive to obtain with others, help in obtaining. It also means to take hold with another. And it finally, it means to take hold with at the side, hence to take a share in. So what are all these different definitions? What are they saying when, when we bring it down to nuts and bolts? In summary, we can say that that word translated helps here means to take hold with someone against something. Mm -hmm. Remember the word soon means together. Mm -hmm. So it shows cooperation and it means uh, the word Antis against, mm. and then lambanomai to take hold. So to take hold of something that is with someone against something else. For instance, if I have a heavy piece of equipment to carry, mm. a heavy one, I'm told carry this, carry this piece of object, mm. and I look at it. You know, some of those things you try to carry yourself, and by the time you try, you know that yeah, every yourself. you can't do it. Mm. So what do I do? I call onto somebody to help me. I say, please help me carry this. And we put hands together and we lift up that equipment. We, the other person who came to my help to help me has soon anti lamba no mind, yes. so to speak. Has helped, has helped me. And what, how did he help me? You he came him. to, I called him. You called him. I called him. That's you good. Desire to lift the, I, desire, desire to lift it first. <laughs> yeah, I desire to lift it. <laughs> It was at my instance, mm. it was at my initiative. He could be there and walking. Mm. If he could have even seen me, but if I did not reach out to him, he may not have come to my assistance. Mm. So he came to my assistance, and both of us, he helped me mm. against the that, weight. That, that burden. Against that burden. That's what the word, that's what it means. So thus, it indicates that in the context of prayer, what does this mean? It means that you initiate like Pastor was into, uh, mentioning now, you initiate the prayer and the Holy Spirit comes to help you. This is very important. You initiate it 
and the Holy Spirit comes to help you. In other words, like the example of the object I gave, if I didn't call on a friend or somebody passing by to come and help me, nothing would have happened. You know, pastor, people say things like, well, the Holy Spirit helps us pray, so therefore... He assumes the responsibility of my prayer life. Mm -hmm. No, it shows us here that you do something. The Holy Spirit does not communicate to God in prayer, helping us, except we initiate it. That's how he started. They prayed as the Spirit gave them more trust. Brilliant. The Spirit has to give you trust, but yeah. you have to open your mouth. You have to open pray. your mouth. You have to open your mouth. He won't do it for you. He won't do it for you. Mm. So this word help was also, is also used just in one other place in the mm. Bible, in the New Testament, and it's in Luke chapter 10, verse 40. You may know the story when Jesus went to the house of Mary and Martha, and mm -hmm. Mary got, uh, sorry, Martha. Uh, Martha got so busy as a bumblebee, just everywhere, went to the kitchen, went to the fireworks. Not as if there's anything wrong in preparing for the master, but her priorities were misplaced and she got to a point where she said master why have you left my sister you know left me alone to serve ask my sister that she come and help me that's the same word mm -hmm. what picture do we get from that M Martha is in the kitchen she wants Mary to help so Mary has to be beckoned she has to ask Mary but the person doing the work effectively is Martha. Mm. It's in that sense that the Holy Spirit mm. helps us in our prayer. And the child of God, if you want to engage the supernatural in your prayer life, then you have to learn to open your mouth and trust. And that as you begin to pray, as you open your mouth and you begin to speak, as the Spirit gives you utterance, he will come to your aid. Mm. He will come to your assistance. And you'll be able to overcome weaknesses mm. and you pray for things that you do not know or understand. And the purpose for which it comes to your aid is so that he can join forces together Amen. with you. Amen. The same way the friend will join forces with me to lift up that heavy object, he comes in to join forces with me to pray in, 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 according to the will of God against the weight of weakness in this situation which means that without praying, speaking in tongues, praying in the spirit the Holy Spirit cannot come to help me and he's my helper, we've mentioned that before, he's our helper, that means for a lack of a better term, he's a gentleman if you don't ask him, if you don't initiate and rely on him there's nothing he'll do well, yeah. and you, know, you just said here that he helps you, what it says here that it helps you in your weakness. And yes. You, know, you look at that word weakness, and it also means infirmity. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean sickness and disease. Sure. It doesn't mean, you know, a frailty or something like that. It actually refers to being mentally or morally limited in mm. what you can do. Mm. So there is a mental or moral limitation, mental really, limitation you have as a believer. You just don't know everything. Mm. You don't know everything that you need to take care of. But the Holy Spirit is there to Sunanti Lambanomai with you mm -hmm. against that weakness. So it means that when you don't engage the help of the Holy Spirit and you attempt to pray, mm. you are praying from a position of disadvantage. That's good. That's when good. you don't engage the help mm. of the Holy Spirit, I'll say it again, and you attempt to pray, you are actually praying from a position of disadvantage. Mm. So when you engage the help of the Holy Spirit, he takes care of all your limitations. Right. And you begin to pray and operate on a different level like we're going to see, you know, as we go ahead. So you pray with the Holy Spirit. You pray, you get the help of the Holy Spirit. But how does he really help you? Mm. Look at John 16, 13. Let's break it down some more. Mm. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, same expression as the Holy Spirit, mm. but it's interesting, he's called the Spirit of truth right. here. He has come. He will guide you into all truth. It is because mm. he's the spirit of truth Amen. that he will guide you into all, all. truth. Mm. Jesus said, look, the, the word of God says your word is truth. Mm -hmm. The word of God is truth. Mm. So that is the absolute truth that you need about anything. Mm. And he That's is good. a spirit of truth. So when he's praying, he's already praying on the realm of truth. Amen. There is nothing false. Mm -hmm. There is nothing lacking. There is nothing dishonest. Mm -hmm. There is nothing evil mm -hmm. when he is praying with the help of this Holy Spirit. Amen. So why wouldn't you want to engage the help of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit? Spirit? It says he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. For whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Glory be to God. Amen. Since he will guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. Again, I said the word is truth. truth. So it means that as you read, your, read the word of God, we're talking about how does he help you. You know, let me say this. Hmm. You cannot divorce your experience with the word of God from your experience with the Holy Spirit. That's good. Amen. You together. cannot. They work together. Hmm. You don't, you're not married to the word 
and, and divorced from the That's Holy good. Spirit. Or married to the Holy Spirit yeah. and divorced from the mm -hmm. Word. Mm -hmm. And there are believers who operate in the two extremes. True. They are always, la ba shantata, tele, they don't read their Bibles. Mm -hmm. There are others who they are always in their Bibles. Mm -hmm. They don't pray, whether in understanding or, in or even spirit. in tongues or mm -hmm. in the Spirit, or they don't pray. Mm -hmm. No, no. He will guide you into all truth. So everything he does is on the same plane with the word, the word. of God. Amen. There's Amen. no prayer he's good. That's why when you come and you begin to do, Rabba, Sha, Rabba, kill my enemy, mm, destroy him. Good. That is not the Holy Spirit. Amen. I don't Amen. care what you sound like. That is not the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because you cannot find it anywhere in mm. the new mm. church, Testament. in the new testament, mm. in this dispensation, that God asked you to go around and kill your enemies. Jesus actually said you should do the opposite. Right. Even when they came to kill him when Judas came and betrayed him mm. and they sliced off the ear of the servant of the high priest, he took it and he put it back. Mm. So you can wow. be shaken and vibrating presumably under the power of the Holy Spirit. I can tell you that because it is not in sync mm. with the word of God, he mm. says he will guide you into, into all, all truth. truth. Glory, Glory be to God. God. And he says he will speak whatever he hears. He doesn't hang around with liars. He doesn't hang around with dishonest people. He, he is God. Mm -hmm. So when he says he will speak what he hears, you are sure that he is speaking the truth. Hmm. And sometimes that speaking comes by revelation. You have an understanding. Mm -hmm. But some other times, child of God, in the context of what we're talking about, he will speak what he hears through, you will speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. And that's why many times mm -hmm. when you're speaking in tongues, you're speaking things that have exceeded your mental capacity. Amen. Amen. Ex totally overwhelm that limitation that you have because he will guide you into all truth. He will speak whatever he hears. He is the best teacher that you can ever have. Amen. You may have the best you know, teacher of the word physically. You may, even if you're a student in school, mm -hmm. you may have the best teacher you need. Mm -hmm. But when you do all of that mm -hmm. and you go back to have the Holy Spirit Sunanti Lambano Mai with you, Amen. guess what's going to happen? He will tell you hmm. the things you need to, to hmm. know. So he says here, look at these different things. He will guide you into all truth. Hmm. How does he do that? He will not speak of his own authority. Whatever he hears, he will speak. Hmm. And he will tell you things, things. to come. Amen. Pastor Shola, he doesn't always tell you your understanding. Of course not. Many times he doesn't. Hmm. He doesn't always tell you your understanding. Hmm. Sometimes he'll just speak those three things through you. And hmm. you don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. You don't know what you're taking care of. Yeah. You know, before, the, before we started shooting, hmm. I was reminding you of a testimony that mm -hmm. I had once shared. Mm -hmm. It just came to me before we started shooting. And it was the first and only time I was involved in the somersault in a, in a car accident. It was my husband and I. And we had a driver and a mobile es a police es escort in the, in the car with us. And before that trip, in fact, it's coming clearer now, I wasn't supposed to go with him on that trip. But I kept insisting I wanted to go on that trip. Hmm. He was like, no, you don't really need to come. I said, no, I want to go on that trip. He says, okay, come along with me. I can't remember, where we're going home or something. Yeah. You know? And then a few, a few hours before we woke up, my husband woke up hmm. early, probably 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. I didn't even know I was fast asleep. And he had a burden to pray. Hmm. And he began to pray in the spirit. Hmm. He didn't know what it was. That's good. But he says the Holy Spirit will tell you things, things to, come. to come. So this doesn't always mean he will tell you there is going to be an accident. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. He may not tell you that way. Mm -hmm. But there was a burden, just mm -hmm. like you described, mm -hmm. to be lifted. Yeah. And he woke my husband up. My husband got up and began to pray. Now he could have said, oh, I'm up early. Let me iron my clothes, prepare mm -hmm. for this trip, you know, mm -hmm. and then I wake my wife. Mm -hmm. He understood there was good. something to That's lift. Good. Amen. Many times we wake up in the middle of the night and we don't know we're supposed to be waking That's up to good. pray. We loaf around, put on a movie. Well, I'm up, I can't sleep. Let me yeah. watch a movie. Pray. Yeah. Yeah. Pray in the spirit. Yeah. There's things to come you need yeah. to take care of. Yeah. They may not always be bad things. They may even be good things. Yeah. Great things in the vision God Amen. has given to you. Amen. You need open doors that God wants to, ha Amen. wants to have. But you need to take care of those things. Yeah. He will tell you those things you to come. Like, you are like a person on duty. On duty. Yeah, like God just said, I want something to be settled. Be sensitive, be sensitive. enough. That's it. Be That's sensitive it. enough. And thank God Emeka was sensitive. Hmm. And he prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed until he just felt like we say in yeah. Christianese, wow. he felt a release. Amen. And we got on that trip. And as we got on that trip, you know, I just had a very uncomfortable feeling about the, the, the mobile escort. And I told him, I said, there's something about this guy. Hmm. But, the, you know, we're in a hurry, so hmm. we ignored that. Again, that was wrong. We ignored that. But thank hmm. God he had taken care Hell. of those things in That's prayer. Good. And as we went on that trip, Cut a long story short, the mobile es escort fell asleep. Like, he came into the car with a spirit of sleep. He fell asleep. The driver fell asleep. We fell asleep. And when we woke up, we were in the middle of the median of a dual carriageway going at top speed towards the river. And when the driver woke up in a panic, 
He did what you don't do. He mm. slammed on the brakes, turned the car to the right, right onto the road, and the car somersaulted. And we came out without a scratch. scratch. Glory to God. Jesus. The Holy Spirit had taken care Love of things. That. He told us things to come. Mm. Glory be to God. Amen. So sometimes when you pray in the Spirit, you know, you're taking care of things you don't know, you don't know about. And like I said, they're not always bad things. Mm. Sometimes good things also. Mm -hmm. Open doors for mm -hmm. you. You're taking care of them. Mm -hmm. You're actually praying in a different dimension. Glory to God. You're taking care of the future. Amen. You know, that's the limitation of praying in your understanding. Mm -hmm. Praying in your understanding will only take care of the past and probably the present. Mm. But you don't know what's to come tomorrow. True. The Holy Spirit knows what's to come. Whatever he hears, he will speak. Mm, mm. Whatever he hears. Doesn't that sound like cronje, as That's we say good. it in Nigeria? Expo. It sounds like expo. <laughs> it sounds like telling you the answers of an exam even before the exam is written. That's right. So what examination lies ahead of mm, you? The glory. Holy Spirit has the answers, child of God. Mm. So engage the help of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Glory be to God. Engage the help of the Holy Spirit. And when you do that, he will take care of of the future in your life. And you know mm. the beauty about praying in tongues, because you're praying out of your understanding as this is going on, you're praying selflessly. Mm -hmm. I could get up and it could be Pastor Shola I'm praying for. Mm. But you know, when you think, ah, let me pray for my father, my mother, my problems, my this, mm. no, pray in the spirit mm -hmm. and God will place a burden on your heart for even people you may not know. Right. And you take care of these things, glory Amen. be to God. Amen. That is how you, you, you pray with all prayer, with all perseverance mm. for all the saints, like Ephesians 6, 18 tells us, that is how you do that. That is one way you can mm. do that. When you pray with the help, the support, the Soon anti lambano mai of the Holy Spirit. Glory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank Lord. you for this awesome gift mm. of your Holy Spirit. Amen. As we explore this even more, mm. we are grateful for this gift. Amen. One major way you have shown us that you can be, be expressed big, big in, in us. us. We give you praise, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You can order today's message and other past messages on our website store, freshdew.tv. It is available on MP3 and CD and also on MP4 and DVD just as seen on TV. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life. Thank you for watching Fresh Dew today with Pastor Nkichi Ene. We trust you were blessed by today's episode. For further information on Fresh Dew, please call us on 0700 Fresh Dew, which is 0700 3737 4339. If you're calling from outside Nigeria, the number will be plus 234 700 3737 4339. Our phones are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. GMT plus one. You can also send us an email to info at freshdew.tv and we'll be glad to serve you. We also invite you to like, follow and interact with us on our Twitter and Facebook pages at Freshdew TV and also on Pastor Nkechi's Facebook pages at Pastor Ketch. For more information on how you can partner with Freshdew and receive Pastor Nkechi's monthly letters and weekly MP3 gifts, please visit our website, www.freshdew.tv. Once again, thanks for being with us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Fresh Dew to receive fresh inspiration and direction for your life.